Ted Cruz is a Wall Street shill who is willing to sacrifice all of his moral and ethical principles to advance his personal agenda and to advance the leftist agenda as well. And this is demonstrated very clearly by Carly Fiorina's endorsement of him, calling him, quote unquote, a winner. No, Carly, Ted Cruz is a loser, not because of any of his accomplishments, but that he is willing to sacrifice his dignity in order to gain political power. And we as Americans should be very concerned about having a leader who is only interested in advancing his personal wealth and his personal power. Let me give you a few facts about Carly Fiorina. She is also a Wall Street shill. She advances another leftist agenda, the I am woman, hear me roar bullcrap. She advances this agenda that women are better than men, that they are better leaders than men, that they are uh, more capable, and that they can lead the country in a better fashion than men, that men are just uh, basically emasculated, that we're essentially useless. Let me tell you something about Carly Fiorina. In July of 1999, she was named as the CEO of Hewlett Packard. At the time, on an adjusted basis, the share price for that month in which she was hired averaged $14.46. In a little more than five and a half years later, HPQ stock, on again on an adjusted basis, we're talking about apples to apples comparison here, fell down to $8.21 on average in the month of February 2005. That's about a 45% loss of market capitalization. And you know what's interesting is that she was the highest paid CEO at the time, or one of the, the highest paid CEO at Hewlett Packard, and she was the first female CEO of a Fortune 20 company. So the media established her as this big trailblazer that she finally broke the, the glass ceiling for women. And all she really did was to bring women two giant steps backwards in the professional world because she killed HPQ. I mean, she killed it. And I don't mean she killed it in a good way. I mean, she killed it, like literally massacred it. I mean, the long-term investors of HPQ stock they lost, again, almost half, half of the value of their portfolio. That's not a leader. I don't care, you know, give, give me all this excuse about uh, that there were bad deals made, that some of the deals uh, didn't go as well as forecasted. Excuses, excuses. We need a president that is not going to make excuses, that is not going to gamble away the wealth and the future of our country, j just like Carly Fiorina did with Hewlett Packard. So her endorsing Ted Cruz, I mean, it just kind of shows you how shallow and uh, how vapid the Cruz campaign really is, uh, how desperate it is. Because I would not want to be endorsed by Carly Fiorina. And it kind of shows you the, the lack of intellect and it shows you the ignorance of the Ted Cruz um support base. It's all well. It's all fine. I, I think that uh, with this endorsement, it just solidifies more support for the front runner, Donald J. Trump. Because Trump, unlike these other people, he hates failure. He hates it with a passion. He does not want to lose. And he'll do anything and everything to win. And while he may offend some people, while he may... Uh, rub people the wrong way at the end of the day you got to stand up for your principles and you got to stand up for what's right even if it's not popular even if people don't like you that's what i like about donald trump and that's why i think he's great for america because he will stand up for principles and he's not bought and paid for like the shill the wall street shill ted cruz